Auzu billahi minash shaitani rajim bismillahi rahmani rahim Dear brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum my name is Shweb Khan welcome to maxafter.com Now today's tutorial is about motion tracking so this is what we would be doing So as you can see if you have noticed I have tracked this TDK thing here the same video has been applied to the shot so what's happening here is basically I have tracked the movement of an object and then applied the tracking data of that movement to another object. In short, you can also apply that tracking data to a layer or an effect control point to create compositions in which images and effects follow the motion. Before we proceed to the main tutorial, I want to give you an overview of motion tracking and its features. Okay, let's first start with an overview. Are you guys ready? Okay then, let's start it. Okay, first let's drag our Piccadilly Circus movie and make a new comp. By the way, this is a Piccadilly Circus in London. Okay, let's launch our track motion. For that, we have to select our layer here. And then we go to animation. We say track motion. So we've got this panel here called track controls, which has got all these panels. So first, let me tell you a little bit about this track point here. This is basically called the track point and the track point has got three features which is feature region, search region and attach point. The search region is basically the bigger box yeah. and then the feature region is the smaller box which is the most important one and then this is attach point. So the feature region basically the smaller box. So the smaller box is the feature region and the feature region defines the element in the layer to be tracked. So any element in this small box or feature region should be a distinct element, preferably one object in the real world. And After Effects must be able to clearly identify the tracked feature throughout the duration of the track. I mean, despite of its the change in light, or color, or background, or anything, it should be there all the time so that it continues to track it. Okay, the search region, which is the bigger box, um, defines the area that After Effects will search to locate the tracked feature. In short, basically it follows the um, feature region. Wherever the feature region goes, it follows. It's basically kind of the feature region's tail and it uh, follows wherever it, it, it goes. And the third thing is attach point. And this attach point can be moved like this. Now this attach point is, is also very important because as you can see, you can move the attach point. And once we have tracked the motion and in the end, when we apply the tracking and in the end when we apply the tracking data to a layer or a control point that layer or control point will place itself according to the attach point if it's here it will apply it here let's say for example if we want to track this point here right and then what we want is we want a, a cloud basically to be on top of of this point here uh, somewhere here you know in, in the sky but if we keep this point here the cloud will be applied applied to this point only but if this point is moved up here somewhere let's say where the clouds are here somewhere and then after the tracked motion the cloud will be applied to only this point so I'll show you exactly what I mean with let's first track this point so once we tr uh, place our track point then what we do is we analyze forward to retrieve the moving data. So if you come down to the panel here, track controls, leave everything as it is, and then we come here to or we come here to analyze forward. So let's close this first. So we've got six seconds here. We analyze forward and you'll see that it's analyzing now. And as you can see that um, the the motion has been tracked. Now what we do is we have got this whole data here of the track points as you can see this this is the moving data that it has tracked now this data can be applied to a null object it can be applied to a text it can be applied to a layer or an image so for, for now let's go with the example I was giving you about the cloud so for that we just go and and make a new solid and that would be white and if you go back here and we turn the size down this Okay, let's say just a rough example that this this is our cloud, and maybe feather it. Yeah, and it's it's in the center. So if you go back to the tracked view, this one, and we just 
edit target. Now if you go to edit target it will ask you for the layer that you want to apply the data to. So in this case it's white solid 2 so we say OK and then we apply the data and the dimensions we'll keep it to X and Y We say OK. So now as you can see that the data has been applied and I was giving you the example of the cloud which is this and for it's a rough example so this is a cloud applied and if you render it you'll see that the cloud is attached to the attach point you know if if the attach point was you know this attach point if it was here then the cloud would have applied to this area so this is what we can do with the attach point you know so this is a small example I hope you have understood so let's start our main tutorial now I hope you have understood this small example that I've given you and the overview about the motion tracking. Okay, let's uh, delete all this and start the main tutorial. So this is what we'll be doing. Tracking this part here and applying the same footage instead of TDK. Alright, so pick it at the circus, drag it across, make a new comp. So we'll select our footage here and then we go to animation and track motion. So we get this panel here of track motion. So we come down to track type. In this we want to basically we've got four points here so we need to change the track type to perspective corner pin. Let's adjust these points here. Move it and put it here. And let's put this one here and this one, this black point, and this one to this point here. So let's make it look like a square. Move these attach points a bit outside the billboard. As I've told you before, uh, what's this function? Now we have placed the track points, now what we need to do is we need to analyze it to retrieve the data and apply it to a new image. So let's go and click Analyze Forward. Okay, now and the motion has been tracked, so you've got these tracking points here, the keyframes of the movement of our camera, and it has retrieved all the data sometimes you know it doesn't it's not stuck to the points you know it moves here and there you know it goes out so in that case you need to redo it and make sure you you select the best points and uh, keep on trying it and until you search the right points and then it tracks it properly so now the next step is, is let's apply this data here to a new layer so you select layer new solid and Comp size, okay. We click the piggly circus, and now let's edit target. So this in edit target basically t it gives you an option of the layer to which you want to apply the data to. In this case, it's white solid zero three. So you say okay, and then you apply it. Now, as you can see, the data has been applied, and this is how it's going to look. It has matched it perfectly. And now what we need to do, of course, we need to mask around it, you know, to get the, the shape of the billboard. For that, let's pre-comp this layer first. Layer pre-comp, and let's say, call it track. Tracked. And leave all attributes in Piggly Circus. Yeah. And say OK. If you all click on the layer, you've got this clean layer here where you can draw your mask. But for first, what you can do is we need two viewers to see it, you know, while we are drawing the mask. Let's make a new viewer first. New viewer. So we got these two viewers. Let's close this one for now. And uh, this is our main composition. And this is this will be our our layer. So let's close lock it. And this one unlock it. And we all click it. The layer will show here. And then you can lock it and bring it here on the side of this one so a bit tricky but 
I'm sure you'll find a way of doing it. Okay, now if you go here and close this layer and draw a mask around here, you draw a quick mask. So we've got our mask here, press M, you cut this mask, control C on your keyboard, control C, and then we'll apply it to our layer here, to apply it to this layer. So now, if we go back to Piccadilly composition, what we'll do is we'll just delete this mask here because we've got it all here which is applied to tracked so when you turn it on now you'll see this applied here so now you can fix this thing. okay when you double click this you can fix the size while you're watching on this viewer okay we come out of it let's select Let's select these points here, and with the arrow key we can just move it up, and on the side as well, this one. And then you can bring this one down as well. Move this one up, and on the left with your arrow key on the keyboard, and then finally move this one up as well and then move this one up we go back to tracked because we've got problems here so we can fix this and move this up so this is basically we've got our layer which is the mat save it and we call this mat okay. now let's close this we don't need this now and we come back to our main composition which is Piccadilly Circus so we close this as well fit yeah now what we need to do is let's bring our because we need to apply the Piccadilly Circus shot into this billboard here into this area here so let's bring it into this and let's put the mat above this one above the layer and open our track mat and we'll say alpha mat so we've got our, our movie you know in that area so now you go back to pick the circus you'll see that's been perfectly matched okay let's tweak it a little bit we go to effects and presets Venetian blinds go to frame and then we apply to our tract and hit U and you'll see the keyframes for lines move them forward and also F9 or easy easy and then you go to blinds and you just change the width let's say and move this up here minus 4 and we'll use this to probably 6 and now when you see it that looks like a like a billboard you know flipping into the next picture so let's apply drop shadow you see the sh drop shadow turn it up to 100 and distance let's say 2 softness to 2 as well as you can see sometimes you know in the stack if you put it above up in the stack it affects the layer you know so we'll keep it down here so that it has got a nice shadow here so we say control U and copy these control C <coughs> go to f 4 seconds control B and move it here switch them across and then you'll see when you render hard layer ok next step is introduce our adjustment layer Layer new adjustment and apply curves to it. 
type curves here, you get curves and just apply it here. And we go to red channel and turn it down, change the color, and then we go to green channel and turn it up a little bit. And we go to RGB and turn this up a little bit. Turn this up down so that we get this effect. And the next step is we go to gradient. A gradient is four color gradient. We apply it to the adjustment layer and we get this nice effect here. And we leave it as it is. It looks very cool. Just kidding. Okay, so blending mode. We just okay before going there, let's fix the colors. Position and color yellow. Ooh. Change this to blue and green to this color and let's change these to white and move this up up so that we get nice sky color here and then we'll say multiply so you get this nice hazy kind of environment and then opacity you can turn it down there, there. so let's see how it looks when you render so we have matched the camera perfectly and I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have understood the points that I've made sometimes what happens is the points that you choose are sometimes are not right so that's why all the time it the track point leaves the point and goes here and there in that case you need to redo it again you know put the points at the right places according to the description that I've given you you know I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial See you next time. Once again, this is Shweb Khan from maxafter.com. Assalamu alaikum.